exclusive live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. So I just keep reminding myself that April showers bring May flowers. Mm -hmm. It will get better and warmer. Yeah. As opposed to the ones that were killed this morning with the frost and the freeze. We're just, we're just not going <laughs> to think not gonna, about that. See, we're going to think. We're going to think positive. We're, we're going to move forward. That we are. And we're looking <laughs> looking at a first alert radar. Moving forward, we see some rain showers that are moving in, mainly south of the I-70 corridor from Topeka to Olathe towards State Line. That's toward Harrisonville. That's where we see at least the leading edge of this stuff. It'll continue to migrate across state lines, still be out there. So if you are going to be out for any length of time, I would just pack the umbrella to be on the safe side. Nothing severe, though. I'm not talking about damaging winds or damaging hail. It's not that sort of setup. More concentrated rain farther to the south of Emporia. And that'll also fill in later on tonight. But believe it or not, it's not going to last all evening long. City view camera, we can see some texture in the clouds. As we're looking back toward downtown, the current temperature 55 degrees. Last hour they had a partly sunny sky at the airport, so the clouds are definitely thickening up. But the humidity is still lagging, therefore it's not raining at the airport. The southeast wind at 18 miles an hour, making that 55 feel even colder than that. Here's the progress of the clouds, so the first alert clouds and radar. There is a partly cloudy condition also starting to get socked in from Sedalia and Warrensburg down toward Warsaw. Here are the rain showers, hit and miss but a thick overcast when it's not raining, so a gray sky for sure. And where it is raining, you can see the temperature difference. Still 54 Garnett, 56 degrees Paola, 54 for uh, Liberty as well as St. Joseph. Going farther to the east and northeast, Trenton only at 50 degrees even. Evening forecast is going to have those rain showers. It's not a slam dunk. It's not going to be widespread necessarily, but about a 40% chance will be the max till about 8 p.m. 9 o'clock it trails off to a 30 percent risk and even by 11 it would just be cloudy and most of the rain showers exiting the KC area. Low temperatures nowhere near the killing freeze we had this morning. We're only going to drop to 49 degrees in the morning 46 in Trenton near 50 for Lawrence 50 for Ottawa down toward Garnett also 50 degrees for the start. But the trouble is we're not going to warm up significantly necessarily warmer than today. Yeah. But uh, with the rain showers, we'll be kept down a little bit from where we could rise. But still, 66 degrees isn't too bad. It's an impact day. That's why I see the yellow triangles pretty much for most of the day. A couple rumbles of thunderstorm possibility as well. Southeast winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Here's the exclusive first load nine day forecast. Once again, an impact day tomorrow. 49, 67 your high. Thursday. Rain showers as well and a couple of thunderstorms as well. 48 to 73 degrees then 82 feeling muggy. Chance of a shower mainly in the morning. The bulk of the day right now looking fairly dry. We pick up back with the rain over the weekend. Unfortunately, 78 the high temperature on Saturday and a chance of rain also on Sunday. I know there are a lot of walks and runs expected this weekend and the weather's not going to totally cooperate. That's an update to our forecast. 65 then and staying in the 60s, but cooling back down to the upper 50s to so near 60s by next midweek. That'd be next Wednesday and next Thursday.